morning guys, what's going on? We're gonna go to a house. It says AC's leaking in the attic. So we'll see what it is when we get there. Hello, how are you? Hey guys, how you, how doing? you doing? Doing well. Um, What's going on? You guys are doing the air conditioning. Yes. All right, last guy I saw here was bigger and older than both of you. Was and he? I didn't even know how he was going to crawl under the thing, but he was amazing. For air conditioning? Yeah. Uh, he was from your Tony? Company. Tony. I don't know where it was, it was years ago. I, I've used oh. you guys for 20 years. I'm telling you, you're the best company I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Every guy that came in, but you guys look like. Well, now we have to live young. up to that. <laughs> You do. No, these guys are basically big corny. I reckon. I did this because I was going to send it in if you guys want to see it first. But so upstairs, I have two hand loops. Okay. Um, one for downstairs, one for upstairs. So when you go up, there'll be one right in front of you, one to the left. Yeah. I put a little water control uh, alarm in there because years ago, this pan, you know, overfilled a little bit. I didn't even know it. And then I get some water on my of door course. ceiling and it, it's not good. So I, anyways, the alarm went off. So I don't even damage it quite early. So if you walk upstairs, and look right to your left, you're gonna see this unit. Okay. The towel's not there anymore, okay? Um, and that's where the alarm thing was. So you know obviously what you're looking at. Right here, behind this pipe, right there, you can Leaking even out of see, the cabinet. exactly, it's leaking out of the cabinet. You can even see where it's gotten rusty. Okay. And it's just dripping from there. I was, maybe the line's I wasn't marked. gonna bother you. You know, I was thinking maybe I can unscrew it. And I was like, you know what? This is not one of these things. Yeah, fuck around. we'll check it out. We'll so, so you know right where to go. Hopefully I saved you a little time trying to look for it. Yeah, so, so you said the unit to the left when we get up there. What's that? Yeah, right, it's the unit to the left. You'll see that spot, you'll see the... Um... Okay, so we got a leaky air handler. Or was leaking. But I don't see any evidence of water. Is that the one you meant? Yeah, he said to the left and this alarm went off. So we'll pull it, we'll open it up. Maybe the pan's plugged up. Let's check the drain. Why is my air handler dripping water? Let's see. Cloud drain. So let's open this drain right here with the adjustable because it's a little tight. Right there. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay. Joe Gallo pressure gun. Oh, Joe Gallo pressure. Turn around. All right. So I didn't have an empty Viper like I thought I did. So here's the hose we're gonna flush the pan with, but we're gonna need a gallon. So we're gonna Guys, nice and clean now. Yeah, before I was unscrewing this, and it was so tight. Then I started going the other way like an idiot. I didn't even realize it. Okay, 
So let's throw the cabinet back on, or the panel back on. 2006. All right, so the water sensor's back there. Again, the water alarm. Let's see, shut off. System's running, drains unclogged. Little gallow pressure on hot water. Guys, right, we're gonna go to the next call. We'll see what it is when we get there. We're gonna go over to um, a couple towns north. We're gonna go to change a fan motor, an indoor fan motor that was diagnosed the other day. So we're gonna go pick one up and uh, go install it. And I think a condensate pump too. That's what the notes say. So we'll see what it is when we get over there. EMS or whatever. Okay. And see how bad it is. I hope it's nothing wrong with it. All the fuses are off, you know that. Yeah, we're going to take this fan motor out, which is OEM, and we're going to replace it. That looks safe. I right, hold that up. Just hold it, because I want to take this side, these side bolts out. Ready? Go. Watch the wires here. I don't like that. Just hanging like that. It's your emergency heat. Heat strips. I think there's two in there. So I like to mark where the Molex is, so we're just gonna put an M here. It's kind of a shitty M, but why not, right? Do some put some shit down there. Yeah, bro. We're gonna place the Molex back to the M. Our M is there. And we're just gonna set the bolts back in. Alright, so now we're gonna slide this back in. The air handler. Go. Zap. Out and seat pump. Mm. Sounds like poo poo. Oops. He's gonna replace that. It's in my ticket. It was unplugged. Draining the steam humidifier into the pump. Test the pump. Put in TT for the common for the shut off switch. Yeah, oh yeah, very tight. What year is this guy? It's right, it should be right here. Top right. Six, 2010. Excuse me. Go check the temperature. Coming out of the supply. Then return, get our temp drop. And we'll check the heat. Make sure we're drawing amps on our heat strips. And I think he'll be good for winter.
vacuum check to make sure we cleaned everything up. China. That's good. Everything's clean. China. You like the winter or you like the... the well, I like both, both se four seasons, but I the winter, too. you know, I like to have the heat. Yeah, it's nice. Well, yeah. It's kind of a necessity, too. What's that? Turn, it off. Turn what off? No, it's on. Yeah, I was just checking the amp draw. I had my coworker turn it to off, and we're gonna throw the panel back on. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. That was just a video um, of a, two calls today. Basically, um, condensate pump, fan motor, and I think this morning, oh, this morning was that drain that was at the beginning of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, made in the USA today. And um, that's it. Appreciate everything. God bless. Take care.